According to the American Heart Association, some people are genetically predisposed to having high cholesterol. While most people's cholesterol levels rise with age, those with a family connection have LDL levels that start high and go even higher over time. So you have the LDL, which is the bad, the HDL, which is the good, and something called triglycerides. And those three go into a mathematical formula, and that's kind of how you figure out what you got. If left untreated, those who inherit the high cholesterol defect are 20 times more likely to develop heart disease than those who do not have it. So if we're treating millions upon millions of people with high cholesterol, then we should see heart disease going. During COVID and all this stuff, we had more heart disease death this year than we have in a decade. It didn't go down, it went up. And I'm thinking, yeah, but people were still taking their statins, weren't they? According to mayoclinic.org, doctors typically prescribe statins to lower a patient's total cholesterol and to reduce the risk of a heart attack or a stroke. They'll do some kind of a, um, they might try to do some dietary change initially, and then they'll recommend, of course, exercise and things like that. But they're almost always going to get into the statin family or a drug family like it. So what are some of the ways you can tell if you might have high cholesterol? Dr. McCaffrey says to listen closely to your body. Look at circulation. That's a really good place to start. The circulatory system is intimately married to your cholesterol. You would also look at maybe swelling in parts of the body the feet, the fingers, my rings don't fit on at the end of the day, my socks are leaving rings on my lower ankles. You might notice, man, my joints are stiff and achy, I'm not moving real good. The body's just tight outside and in. If you feel there's cause for concern, reach out to your healthcare provider immediately. While having unusually high levels of the bad cholesterol can hurt you, Dr. McCaffrey says in some cases, elevated cholesterol levels can actually help you. It powers the brain and makes your hormones to reproduce and deal with stress. If you're not a big fan of taking statins for the rest of your life, talk to your doctor about an exercise program. According to dbchealthretreat.com, Pilates can help with any number of health conditions, which includes boosting good cholesterol. The flexible people do way better. So if you can keep the body flexible, then you can lower the incidence of heart disease and strokes and things like that as a result of cholesterol trying to repair things. So it comes back to stress again. McCaffrey says stress management can do wonders for handling high cholesterol in spite of a person's genetic tendencies or genetic flaws. Tendencies you can always stop. You can't stop a flaw. It's there, it's always gonna be there. But a tendency like, yeah, I can change my stress, I can change my diet, I can move the body more, I can help it. 